it all starts at the top around passenger experience. So it's from you leaving your house all the way to getting on the airplane because we can touch the passenger before they even get on airport property through our website, through social media. So it's all about making your experience, maximizing the passenger experience because we want them to travel. Hopefully they've had a positive experience and that's what we want to do is maintain and have a consistent passenger experience. So arriving here at our, at our airport, um, these, the passenger will come into the terminal. So we want to make sure that they get you know, from our parking lot. That's a key part of terminal operations is the, is the non-aeronautical as well. So their, your experience in the parking lot, your experience with our curbside, with the air terminal building, right out to the bridgeway, right out to the, to the airplane. So that's primarily encompasses the, the terminal services uh, end of things here. Now, of course, that, that's one part of the team, correct? So it's not only my position that works in that, there's other, other positions that are uh, relevant to keep the, the terminal running. So within having this team, we've got you know, 10 other people that'll be working with those things from different aspects. In high school, you know, you're already starting to think, what do I want to do for a career? So you've got several different things, maybe are on the table, things that interest you. Aviation was one of them. And I was fortunate enough to have Don McPherson come into our classroom at the time in, it was a high school class, I can't remember what it was, but he came in and he, uh, he was asking, he was doing a survey on who'd be interested in an aviation class, because he was going to start an aviation class at, at Walter Murray. And I was interested. And next thing I know, the rest is history. I was ready to go. I was basically enrolled without, without even thinking any further. I was part of that program. And then with that program, I started to work on my private pilot license. At that time, that's what I, where the route I wanted to go was pilot. Then I realized I was also working at the, at the Aero Center for Westwind Aviation at the time. So I was seeing all of the, the whole operation in terms of how aviation works. And uh, my interest started to go from pilot more to, to airport operations. I would highly recommend if, if you have a passion for aviation, I mean, traditionally, the first thing that comes to mind is, is pilot, but there's so much more out there. Like it, it gets, there's a lot of positions with a narrow scope that is extremely important to get the traveling public from position A to position B. There's lots going on in the background. It's not just the pilots up front. There's so much more, and uh, and it's really tailored to your interests, because it's just if you if you like doing maintenance, there's aircraft maintenance engineers. If you like airports, well, there's airport authorities. Uh, so it's not just uh, not just pilots or flight attendants.